cast test.
welcome to the East Brunswick High School Class of 2023 graduation ceremony. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by the Student Council President, Anushka Shah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing as our award-winning band led by Mr. Brian Toth and our chorus led by Mr. Adam Good perform the national anthem and the alma mater. will now be presented by the class of 2023 president, Anya Chowdhury. Good morning, class of 2023. My name is Anya Chowdhury and I'm your senior class president. I'd like to start by thanking Dr. Valeski, Superintendent of Schools, Board of Education members, Dr. Vanilla and the high school administration, teachers and parents. We would not be here without all of you. I'd also like to acknowledge this year's Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Rita Berkovich. And Support Staff Person of the Year, Mrs. Terry Farrow. On behalf of the Class of 23, I'd like to thank you all for making our senior year the best it could have been. I'd also like to thank Student Council President Anushka Shah, <laughs> National Honor Society President Samuel Friedman, Vishva Gajaraj, and Jaden He, <laughs> Mrs. Shank and Mr. Mondesir, <laughs> and the lovely Class of 24 advisors, Mrs. Kenny Stein and Ms. Rosha. To my mom, my dad, and my brother, I wouldn't be here without you.
It is an honor to be standing here today representing more than 650 members of our graduating class. Thank you for all your support throughout high school. Like many of us, my journey into high school involved East Brunswick's milestone moments. Ice cream socials in elementary school and Fairview in middle school. Like most of us, despite the obvious interruptions by international pandemics, I couldn't wait to reach high school. But in anticipation of this transition, I realized I was lacking a sense of self. As a freshman, I was surrounded by various friend groups. I would ride the bus with my neighbors from elementary school. I went to class with model UN delegates and quiz bowlers. And I ate lunch with the kids that I would play sports with. Differences between these groups were miles apart. And I found myself in a middle ground, wishing to conform more neatly to one group, but not wanting to let go of my friends and others. As a result, I felt like I was wearing a mask, no matter who I was with. Maybe there was a bit of an adequacy that I felt with each group, either not being fun or athletic or smart enough to fully fit in. But early in our high school careers, the pandemic redefined every facet of our high school experience. The social component was no exception. The year of virtual school and the alone time it brought about forced me to reevaluate who I truly was. Honestly, I was exhausted being different with each interaction. But did I even know myself well enough to be someone else? When school reopened for our junior year, we were excited. But for many of us, myself included, junior year also pr proved to be the toughest academically. I needed to determine my own priorities, and I often wondered what the golden balance was. Do I stay in prioritizing my grades, or do I go out and make memories? This distanced me from the people that I would spend my Fridays with, the ones who FaceTime me, forcing me to take breaks from my textbooks. The hours I didn't spend with them were the ones spent with newer classmates, the people I'd only ever seen in school until now, the ones who'd stop their own work to explain some physics problem to me or quiz me on derivative formulas. But I realized I just had, I had just as much fun with the with these new friends as I did with my others. And looking back, through my own trials and errors, I have learned that there are different types of people, but they don't fit neatly into the categories that you initially believe them to be a part of. People say that stereotypes exist for a reason, but when that reason restricts the people that you choose to surround yourself with, it does not justify their existence. Yes, people are different, but sometimes those differences uncover parts of you that you didn't even know existed. Don't write someone off because they're different from you. I've always been told that the people you surround yourself with help shape you, and I didn't want to believe it, but I've realized now that it is true. There are the ones who like you in the moment for the part of yourself that you show to them. And then there are the ones who help you stitch together all the floating pieces that you've kept separated. And in this process, we end up discovering who we genuinely are. So do not go by stereotypes. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. Smile at everyone. Strike up conversations. Be authentic and genuine. And most of all, don't let preconceived notions hold you back from new experiences. So, my dear class of 2023, go take on the world. We will now hear from the valedictorian of the class, of 2023, Allison Yang. Good morning, EBHS. 
I'm so grateful to be representing at least one of us today. And when I was given the opportunity to make this speech, I honestly didn't know what to say or how to encapsulate all our different experiences in three minutes. After all, she may wear short skirts and you wear t-shirts, while she's your captain and you're on the bleachers. <laughs> but after I got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about, I realized there's one universal experience that we can all relate to. For most of us, high school was a golden brick road lined by white picket fences and tulips. <sighs> if only that road had a few lanes that were closed off for construction, the tulips were dead shards of grass along the curb, and white picket fences were the countless, countless red lights that everyone seems to run. And of course, Mother Nature's greatest gift, Squirrels that have an insatiable urge to jump in front of 50 mile per hour cars. I hope you all know which road I'm talking about. The one, the only, Route 18. Or as many of you fondly know it as Party Road. Woo. But when I first went on Party Road, it didn't quite feel like a party to me. Even though my home is quite literally a straight line to the school, the first time I drove felt like quite literally torture. Despite being armed with a little red sticker in the corner of my license plate and two huge student driver signs proudly tacked by my mom on my bumpers, I still felt myself clenching the wheel and gritting my teeth. From trying to tactically squeeze my car between other cars packed along the street, screaming whenever someone sped ahead of me blasting, that boy's a liar, with their windows fully rolled down, grumbling at randomly blocked off roads, and speaking some uh, unpleasant pleasantries whenever someone didn't use their turn signals, I was exhausted. And that was before going to calc class. At the time, I honestly felt confused. I had followed the instructions of my dad that he had painfully drilled into my head, had passed the driver's test, albeit still being unable to differentiate my left and my right, and my friends had driven me to school countless times before. But for many of us, high school felt like that. With random things thrown at us from the left, from the, from the left and the right. Whatever picturesque version of high school some of us expected, to perhaps find our own Troy Bolton, to excel like Rory Gilmore, or to go on adventures like Peter Parker, our road was filled with countless obstacles. Endless piles of homework felt like cars packed along the street. Struggling in class felt like everyone else was speeding ahead of us. And canvas pop quizzes felt like those random squirrels darting across the road. And of course, don't forget swerving by the bathroom past black market and maintaining a safe cautionary three mile distance around the random couples in the hallway while suffocating in Axe body spray fumes. Some classes altogether just felt like blocked off roads. That class being physics. But anyways, now we're all here, mostly alive. Having gotten used to these new routes and routines, it feels easy now. Maybe some of you will even drive on Route 18 today on the way home and are no longer phased by what feels like endless red lights. And clearly, Route 18 has not defeated me yet. So. The truth is, we're now headed for new roads filled with our own obstacles and problems. We won't always have a road map, and more importantly, we won't have our greatest supporter of all, above our friends, our families, our teachers, the EBHS secretary, Maria Wood, to send us our essential bearings. Guys, I, I honestly don't know what we're gonna do without her. But perhaps if you're off to Florida, there will now be alligators that line your path. Maybe you'll skid on icy New England roads or become an expert navigator at knowing when to wave at acquaintances on the streets of New Brunswick. The reality is, no matter how much we worry, we'll never know what lies on the road ahead of us until we're actually driving on it. No matter how many Reddit forums or Quizlets you look at, the answer isn't always going to be there. And yes, I'm looking at all of you A2C users. But just like how we survived high school, these new roads will become familiar once again until we inevitably move on to the next chapter of our lives.
maybe the first challenge for most of us will be getting used to the idea that Wawa won't be five minutes away anymore, but that's an issue for next year. And so, I implore you all to look at your future through rose-colored glasses. <laughs> After all, nothing can stop you if all the red lights just look like lights now. Okay, this is a bit much. <laughs> Whatever your destination, no matter the obstacles you'll face along the way, you'll get there eventually, even those of you on buses two and six. Congratulations to the class of 2023. The chorus will now present the rendition of Slipping Through My Fingers by ABBA arranged by Chandra Grover. We will now hear from the faculty speaker as voted by the members of the graduating class of 2023, Mr. Hayam Cohen. Welcome, East Brunswick High School graduating class of 2023. I would also like to say hi to my two sons, Natan and Eli, who are here today, and to the rest of my family, who is watching graduation on Zoom 
away from here on their couch. For those who voted for me to be your 2023 faculty speaker, thank you. For those who didn't, well, you made a choice. I'm here to provide you with live training on one last essential life skill, the patience needed to wait for the end of speeches made by people you don't know to sum up information that could have been written in an email. <laughs> I am literally standing between you and your diploma right now, holding all of you captive while you wonder how long the speech is going to be. It's a good feeling, for me anyway. Once I was named the faculty graduation speaker, I was met with a lot of demands. Everyone wanted shout outs of their names in the speech. So far, I've covered the graduating class of 2023, so that's at least some of you. But if that's not good enough for you, then I want you each to imagine that when you hear your name called out in a few minutes, that it's me calling out your name as part of this speech. AP Computer Science Principles Class Period 4, is that okay? I want everyone to give themselves a round of applause. Now, graduates, when you see your family and loved ones, I want you to give them a round of applause. As you entered high school as sophomores, your first lesson was a lesson in linear algebra. You learned to navigate a matrix of sorts, group D, day A, supplemental instruction one and three. Just like math, that foreign language of class scheduling was only understood by you and your parents. Your junior year, you faced new hard truths, that testing negative was like getting an A on a test. You faced unprecedented challenges with remote learning. You had to navigate school day to day, listening and hoping for those magical words, it's not COVID, then readjust back to the classroom. Now, as seniors, life was almost back to normal. Finally, there were no more excuses. You had to show what you can do without anything holding you back. And your first major achievement was electing me graduation speaker. <laughs> and it was a huge achievement. For the first time in high school, you met a deadline. I mean, they only had to extend voting one extra day. Impressive. Many of you, have been part of the East Brunswick School family since you started first grade in 2011. You may not know this, but that's when I joined East Brunswick School, the school system as well. Not as a first grader, mind you. I couldn't place into that class. But they gave me a room of mostly functioning computers and a classroom of students just as lost as I was and said, go for it. And I'm proud to say our computer science curriculum has grown and developed over the years just in time to welcome some of you into the, those new courses. Because what we, have to do, what we have to do is not static. The breadth of human knowledge is ever expanding and with the expectations placed upon you, continue to grow. As your teachers, it is our privilege to watch you rise up and meet these new challenges head on, taking in what we can impart to you and launch you into the next phase of your lives. In three years, you learn more about technology than any class ever before. I can't believe I'm saying this in 2023, but having skills beyond sharing TikTok dances is imperative. ChatGPT is not going to teach you how to fill out a TPS report or to send emails or to work effectively in a team. Embrace those skills and may they serve you well in your next adventure. Class of 2023, I want you to take one thing away from this speech. You are all incredibly smart and determined. You navigated the hardest three years of education that I think anyone in this arena can remember. You may not appreciate being forced to be part of this great educational experiment, but trust me, you are the best and brightest and you are on the right side of the population curve. A Z-score of plus three. I'm sorry for the math reference. Thank you for listening. I'll leave you with this. The tassel starts on the right side and is moved to the left when you receive your diploma. And with that, you will all go and do the one thing I will never be able to do, graduate from East Brunswick High School. Congratulations. The principal's message will now be presented by Dr. Michael W. Vanella.
Welcome to all of our distinguished guests here in the arena and those watching via our live stream. Class of 2023, as a presenter, I am challenged to share words of wisdom that inspire you before leaving this arena. So, I began to put pen to paper and persuade myself to proclaim popular phrases of prudence. Then, I peered at my computer and pecked with my pinkies. I even perused chat GPT. That was preposterous. It is not permissible. It's an academic integrity violation. So, painstakingly, I, proce I proceeded again and promised myself not to posture at the podium and pontificate promises for what possibilities lie after you process out. My plan was to proclaim your persistence while you while you were plagued to progress in classes and proceed through the pandemic. Class of 2023, my message this year is simple and inspired by all those Ps. We, the entire EBHS community, is very proud of you. You have already lived through and learned a valuable lesson during high school. Life happens, and you will need to be flexible, persistent, and focused on how you plan to achieve your goals, no matter what obstacles are in your way. Let us flash back to your arrival at EBHS. You waited in car lines to pick up your books and materials. You drove back home set up Microsoft Teams and Canvas on your Lenovo, and began virtual learning. You are muted, and turn on your camera were common phrases at the time. Later, you returned in masks, standing six feet apart. Who could forget standing on those spray-painted feet outside or eating lunch in the auditorium? That was fun. By the time you got to your senior year, you were in the new normal and were successfully navigating EBHS. Of course, it was then we threw you another curveball by renumbering all the halls and the rooms. I think we are all still trying to figure that one out. Who could forget those wonderful PA announcements telling you about what buses are late or not showing up two and six, the reset, oh, and of course, the flatbread line is closed again, or which bathrooms were open, and of course, the wonderful color-coded bathrooms, long lines, and swiping in. I'm sure that will not be missed. Yet, class of 2023, through all the adversity, you persevered. Not only did you make it to the bathroom, you excelled academically, athletically, and in the arts, and did so with honor and integrity. I do not have to preach at you from the podium about perseverance. You lived it. You know sometimes life happens, and you just need to dig deep to get to the better times. You know hard work and commitment to your goals over time pays off. Yet, keep in mind to make it through the adversity life throws your way, you will need to lean on others. And that's okay. Just like those that you leaned on during high school. Look around, your parents, family, and friends. Look up in those stands. They will always be there no matter what obstacles you are facing. They earn a round of applause, graduates. And of course, the wonderful EBHS staff that was by your side all the way through. Please, all EBHFs, please stand and be recognized. I 
I would also like to take a moment and recognize those members of the class of 2023 dedicating themselves by going into the military and serving for us. I'd ask those graduates to please stand. Don't be shy, stand. Oh, they're not gonna stand. Graduates, I hope you have faced the worst things during the COVID quarantine, but I am sure there will be other obstacles to face in life, just like the smoke that altered your senior sunset. But stay the course, as what you learned at EBHS will serve as a foundation for overcoming adversity and going on to do great things. In closing, I wish you all great health, happiness, and success, however you define it. As you know, excuse me, and you know as you leave the arena today, you have what it takes to overcome the obstacles life will throw your way. Class of 2023, we are so very proud of you. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to ask Mr. Petranco and Mr. Pazinko to assist me in awarding the medals of recognition to our valedictorian, salutatorians, and highest honors. Valedictorian and high honors, Allison Yang. Salutatorian and high honors, Kaylee H. Yee. Salutatorian and high honors, Matthew Lee. High honors, Camille Bacon. Yeah. Thank you. High honors, Helena. Lavis. <laughs> High honors, Carolyn Ellie.
High Honors, Vishva Gajaraj. High Honors, Jaden He. <laughs> High Honors, Emily Huang. High honors, Nicole Matiseski. <laughs> High honors, Shrenik D. Patel. High honors, Andrew Shee. <laughs> High honors, Brian Steinberg. High honors, Amanda H. Sun. <laughs> High honors, Emma Zara. <laughs> High honors, Mega Ching Yi Sang. High honors, Catherine Yang. <laughs> High honors, Joyce H. Zhang.
Thank you and best of luck to the class of 2023. Our superintendent, Dr. Victor Valeski, will now address the graduates. Good morning, class of 2023. Parents, family members, high school faculty, Dr. Vanella, high school administration, board president Lax, and our entire Board of Education. Ten years from now, will you remember who was sitting next to you at this graduation? Probably not. The overload of anticipation and excitement preparing to walk across this stage to receive your diploma will likely result in some amnesia about everything you are experiencing today. Here's my challenge. Will you remember anything I say this morning? And does it really matter? I guess time will be the test of that. Here's what I know. If I hear something I can relate to, then I'm more likely to remember it, and probably for a longer period of time. If I can put it into practice, in things I do, I will remember it forever. Ten years from now, your world and your view of the world will be different. The speed of change among many things affecting our species continues at an accelerated pace. Each successive year brings new discoveries that can both positively and adversely affect each one of us. And I believe the biggest challenge for all of you remains the biggest challenge that existed for each graduating class before you. Will you be able to adapt as your future educational, professional, and social environments change? How quickly are you able, or even willing, to adjust to the changes coming your way? And ultimately, these decisions lie with you. Here is the part that I hope resonates with each of you, regardless of your path today. Reinvent yourself every couple of years. It's a simple process that takes a conscious effort. Prepare yourself to be adaptable. Simply be the best version of yourself that you can be. So I hope to hear years from now that these last few words inspired and formed the foundation of many successes that I know are in store for you. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Now I'm going to be the best I can be. President Lax and members of the Board of Education, as superintendent of schools, I certify that the students assembled here have completed all the state and local educational requirements for the issuance of a high school diploma, and I recommend to the Board of Education that they be granted their diplomas. Mrs. Lori Lax, President of the Board of Education, will now say a few words. Good morning, faculty, administrators, family and friends, and a very good morning to the EBHS graduating class of 2023, the reason we are all here today. I myself am actually, I'm sorry, Mr. Cohen, a graduate of East Brunswick, and I actually see a lot of similarities in our experiences despite there being decades between us. Academic success and college aspirations drove many of my classmates in the late 80s. Seeing a stage full of high honors earners and watching you proudly wear your intending destinations on decision day, I realized that some things never change. 
Although specific dates and the click of a mouse delivered your fate and not waiting to see the size of an envelope in your mailbox. Being a bear on the field and court was a big deal in my day. In fact, I have a former classmate and friend who even played in the NFL. This class has 21 students, including four Division I committed to play in college. With only, yes, with only about 2% of high school athletes being selected to play on the collegiate level. That is very impressive. We too had our share of excellence in the arts, but the talent that has graced our stages and colored our canvases these past few years is first rate, and some of you have already found your way to the Carnegie Hall stage. Your generation is wonderfully accepting. Your friendships with one another transcend social and demographic graphic status, ethnic backgrounds, and cognitive capabilities. You truly accept each other for who you each are. Today's climate has forced you to be more worldly than we ever were at a, and at a much younger age. When we made mistakes, time and space eventually erased them. Thanks to the internet and social media, every misstep today has the potential to go viral and have lasting consequences. The silver lining? You have also learned the incredible impact that you can have and how great your reach can be. These things have made you both wiser and more self-aware. But perhaps the most significant similarity that I see is the fact of us, the fact is that most of us, then and now, find ourselves in the middle of the pack. There is nothing average about the middle. My advice to you, to us, is to always be the best that you can be. Don't worry about those that come before or after you. As I look out over the rows of this class, my mantra of having 8,000 kids has never been more evident. I've actually been on the Board of Education for your entire East Brunswick Public Schools career. I've handed out many academic awards to you. I have loudly cheered for you at various sporting events and applauded more politely at your band and orchestra concerts. I visited your schools, read to you, splashed through puddles at Fairview, and loved and truly appreciated and enjoyed watching you grow. From my memorial kids, I loved being a big part of your elementary experience. And for one of you, I love being your mom. For most of you here today, your roadmap has been planned for years. Whether it be furthering your education, proudly serving our country, or heading straight into the workforce, you are taking the next step of your journey toward your desired goal. But not everyone knows what they want at an early age or how to get there. There are also stories of hardship and perseverance that are never publicly told. I have no doubt that sitting among you are classmates and friends that might have rejoiced with you in your successes while they themselves endured a bumpier path or an unclear vision for their future. Today is the great equalizer. Your individual journeys may differ greatly when you walk out the doors of this arena, but for these brief moments, you are all walking across, across an even playing field and will cross the finish line together. Please revel in your accomplishments as they come. No step is too small to be celebrated. As you patiently wait to walk across this stage, it might feel like it took forever for you to get here. But for your parents in the stands and the ones here on this stage, I assure you it feels like yesterday when we were sweating shoe tiring and mastering the alphabet. So EBHS class of 2023, I challenge you to make your mark on this world, even if you don't know what that will look like yet. And whether it be a dot, a smudge, or a whole magnificent mural, let it be yours and be proud of it. The good part, you ready? Here's what you've been waiting for. Dr. Dr. Valeski, Dr. Vernella, on behalf of the Board of Education, I accept the recommendation of the administration of East Brunswick High School and the school district and direct that the class of 2023 be awarded their diplomas. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.
Allison Yang. Kaylee Yi. Matthew Lee. Camille Bacon. Helena Blivis. Carolyn Ely. Vishva Gujaraj. Jaden He. Emily Huang. Nicole Modaseski. Shrenik Patel. Andrew Shi. Brian Steinberg. Amanda Sun. Emma Jarrow. Megan Sang. Katherine Yang. Joyce Zang. Anushka Shah. Ziad Bergley. Emily Opong Zwamina. Anya Chaudhry. Emma Mohanty. Snigda Jaka. Tiffany Flax. Sarah Montez. Nisma Kayum. Jacob Alampur. Aurora Abatamarco. Yusef Abdullaham. Joy Abdulmolak. Van Kirk Abrahams. Brianna Abreu. Wilmer Abreu. Jaden Matthew Adesso. Mina Adele. Swecha Ogaral. Jason Agrate. Khadija Ahmad. Bahad Ahmed. Zafir Ahmed. Scott Akup Akumia. Raged Algaribe. Mohammed Ali Al Kahavaji. Allah Alui. Samantha Alter. Julian Alva. Sarah Amin. Joseph Ang Angelo. Chiamaya, Chiamela Anosike. Merit Anwar. Alexis Arpeo. Ashley Aruda. Aidner Asket. Sharbel Atal. 
Mustansir Aturwala. Joshua Augustine. Mitchell Austin. Corolos Awad. Sarah Ayub. Andrew Azur. Ellie Azur. John Aziz. Rania Aziz. Ramez Azmi. Miriam Badawai. Ayush Bagchi. Cheyenne Bailey. Arthur Bond. Chase Banks. Twinkle Beret. Caitlin Barsanti. Kaylee Bartosik. Jacob Baskin. Grant Bayuk. Connor Beckman. Brianna Bell. Ethan Bellof. Chelsea Berger. Kevin Burkus. Caitlin Burns. Krishna Bagat. Shreya Barudwaj. Corolos Piquet. Maxine Bingaman. Sarah Burns. Danielle Blaustein. Alyssa Bonilla. Shares Bose. Mina Botros. Andrew Bronco. Cassie Brown. Christian Bruno. Jacob Buckwald. Gaurav Budhiraja. Enzo Bono. Esteban Burgos. Joseph Calantropio. Kira Camarado. Christopher Capisi. Joseph Carbone. Capadano. Colin Carlson. Michael Caricelli. Gummy Esther Rose Castro. Brandon Cavalli. Gary Trey Chan. 
to News Chancel Chanthaker. Zachary Chapu. Zoya Chaudhry. Avery Chen. Jiang Xiang Chen. Richard Chen. Isabella Siu. Priscilla Chung. Victoria Chinsi. Eddie Cho. Jacob Chubani. Yush Chogale. Mark Christian. Kaylin Chung. Matthew Siampa. Madeline Cohen. Stephen Cologne. James Comer. Jordan Comer. Extriana Conley. Armia Munir. Aiden Baldelli. Shady Benyamin. Xavier Diaz. Joseph Ditzel. Anthony McCaig. Julian Paglia. Vandan Patel. Sohan Upalapati. Brandon Winter. Simon Consoli. Isabella Conway. Maya Correa. Sarah Craddock. Mackenzie Cravo. Loki Crespo. Brandon Cruz. Janice Cruz. Bailey Como. Ariana Donofrio. Thomas De Silva. Zunera Dagia. Catherine Dang. Burhanuddin Donish. Anthony Daoud. Christopher Datolo. Annalise Davidson. Jamil Davis. Nicholas Dawood. Daniela Dabari. Kashi Dipuk. Xavier Defiti. Maya De La Cruz. Nicholas De Paz. Mateus Deza Maltanares. Varun Dahar. Grace Diaz. Kaylee Dickinson. 
Antonio Di Giovanni. Ashria Dinesh. Melissa Etrof. Denise Dogru, Dogru. Vaishnavi Dodukuru. Heshmat Ibrahim. Andrew Aid. Michael Aid. Margo Ecladius. Tamia Sakura Il. <laughs> Sophia Eldesuki. <laughs> Teresa Elberfeld. <laughs> Youssef Al Hatab. <laughs> Kareem Elias. Joseph Emmanuel. Simon Emmanuel. Halima Ani Fani. Benjamin Ehrlich. Mark Eskander. Alyssa Evans. Dylan C. Evans. Vivian Fang. Leo Fang. Paul Fanus. Mario Farug. Christian Feigenwinner. Ginger Pauline Filumara. Jennifer Fernandez. Mia Fernandez. Risa Ferrari. Darren Ferro. Kareen. Faisal, Lauren Fiorentino, Mia Fleming, Jacob Fogel, Jared Foley, Avante Franz. Nasaya Franklin. Brielle Fraser. Ryan Frage. Samantha Friedlander. Sabrina Friedman. Samuel Friedman. Isaac Gampel. Nysa. Gandhi, Hannah Gao, Anki Kath Gore, Maribel Gayed, Beatty Gerges, Jessica Gerharts, Iman Ghosh Dastadar. Stephanie Giblets, Rachel Gurgis, Abby Glick, Peyton Bellafronte, Joseph Citadino. Kayin Doan, Pablo Gallardo, Mina Gamal, 
Dante Garcia. Julia Garcia. Kevin Garcia. Clifford Gardner, Jr. Pablos Gayed. Jack Drold. Rebecca Gershman. Brandon Grumet. Mark Hapiak. Sydney Hughes. Jared Keith. Jacob Puritz. Benjamin James Salomini. Andre Tobera. Dalton Gagola. Jeremy Goldberger. Clemens Goldman. Abigail Goldstein. Edwin Gonzalez. Eugenia Gonzalez. Colin Grangine. Camille Grant. Destiny Grant. Jonathan Green. Santanya Grundy. Joe Guan. Beyond Gunasena. Elliot Haber. Arian Hagigi. Ahmed Hader. Alyssa Hall. Jordan Hamilton. Danielle Hahn. Jessica Hahn. Catherine Hanna. Neve Hanna. Mark Hanala. Pierre Hanala. Christopher Harrison. Caitlin Harris. Amna Hashmi. Aiden Heaps. Ian Henry. Caroline Hill. Sar Hotchman. Amy Hoffman. Anton Holub. Chris Hong. Konstantin Horushkutsky. Keith Wong. Jillian Houston. Austin Ng. Celia Jagerson. Nicholas James. Joshua Jung. Charmaine Jimenez. Lori Ju. Navia Kalra. Mina Camel. 
James Kahn. Mahir Kundler. Aishi Kapoor. Naomi Karki. Anna Kasianchuk. Chahel Katoch. Alina Katz. Caroline Kelly. Kaif Khan. Haley Kim. Josephine Kim. Julie Kim. Isabel King. Borno Kolinjovadi. Karen Colta. Kira Cornianco. Dasha Katenko. Anthony Cross. Shuri Cross. <laughs> Stephanie La. Melania Labadze. Patrick Labib. Kendall Claret. Alexandra Corallo. Jared Feiner. James Harmon. Jenna Kazadoy. Benjamin Croit. Alexandra Kurilowitz. Ethan Miller. Emily Moreno, Angie Singh, Aaron Warner, Kelly Fagel, Abigail Aziz, Ashley Lax, Anthony Mazzucchetti, Brooke Lar, Advic Law, Isabel Lamb, Catherine Lao, Gian Rivera Santiago, Sam Varga. Victoria Clara Aldasabal, Lilith Barlow Haynes, Harshitha Bargava, Mario Cherry Jr., Morgan Cooper, Andrea Fabian, Toisha Ganesh. Haley Ginsburg, Cassandra Gumayan, Tatiana Gerdavian, Raphael Aletto, Catherine Eileni, Kothyayani Ayer, Julianne Chazinski, Rachel Cam, Nicole Kwok, 
Kareen Sella Laxon. Kevin McMillan Jr. Ariana Big Sweeney. Lily Navarro. Holly Paradise. Daniel Polero. Jack Mix. Abigail Pun. Sophia Rulo. Fruity Sanidi. Michael Smith. Erica Vasquez Flores. Olivia Woodard. Edward Lee. Ellen Lee. Emily Lee. Francis Lee. Hannah Lee. Kristen Lee. Morgan Lee. Rebecca Lee. Julio Leva Galindo. Donna Leonor Zamora. Daniel Liu. Suhan Lee. Emma Lin. Gregory Ling. Jason Lapuma. Alan Liu. Xingning Lucy Liu. David Lobo. Siddharth Lohani. Shang Tian Long. Danielle Longo. Andrew Louie. Maggie Liu. Jenna Lipchinski. Evan Liu. Abigail Leones. Roger Ma. Bryce Marr. Gabrielle Mayer. Joshua Moldenado. Safe Malik. Cheyenne Malik. Shakrubek Mamakulo. Ashrith Mandayam Ath Moram. Shreyas Mani Gandam. Karis Mao. Jessica March. Michael Marchese. Kayla Marsicano. Lauren Mateus. Claudia Mantiasi. Kevin May. Lindsay McPeak. Catherine McSweeney. Matthew McSweeney. Krishna Migoda. Jasmine Mera. Michael Melendez. 
Daniela Mamehe. Sherry Mendez Garcia. Andrew Michael. Paige Micklick. Alexandra Meal. Michael Mikolka. James Milligan. Shohini Maitra. Sarah Moderno. Miles Montalvo. Antonio Monterosa. Ivana Moore. Mia Morgado. Brooke Modiseski. Samantha Modiseski. Karthik Mudakali. Safa Munzam. Lena Mosley. Omar Mosla. Dilraj Nahal. Rohan Nathani. Shazane Navid. Jack Nelson. Noah Nesser. Tobias Neuberger. Daniel Newton. Annie Nazaria. Alyssa Eng. Bryce Eng. Zi Ming Eng. Lam Win. Matthew No. Tahita Nishamp. Dominique Menones. Daphne Narona. Faith Rebecca O'Neill. Justin Oaken. John Aranchek Jr. Alex Ortiz. Isaiah Ostain. Pritika Oza. Brittany Palumbo. Viraj Parajur. Catherine Parides. Tanme Parikh. Andrew Parzolani. Davik Patel. Dinme Patel. Santiago Patino. <laughs> Natalie Pelo. Aditya Pemaraju. <laughs> Lucas Pereira. Natalia Perez. Emmy Phillip. Dominic Piasecki. Daria Popova. Sahil Prabhakar. Ananya Pradane. Zoltan Pronik. 
Tyler Kwan. Omar Rackley. Jaden Radosi. Chenery Rafferty. Dana Ralph. Siddharth Ramaswamy. Sumetta Ramaswamy. Jose Luis Ramirez Baeda. Alex Rangel. Amanda Rafel. Vito Rapa. Jordaner Rashid. Marina Ramsey. Aryan Rathnam. Omehani Raymanji. Julia Resnick. Rhea Robinson. Paige Rockaway. Gabriel Rodriguez. Isaac Rodriguez. Annalise Rodriguez. Jaden Rodriguez. Sarthak Rungta. Justin Rose. Jaron Royal. Tunish Roy Chowdhury. Leah Rosette. Andrew Safara. Quinn Salazar. Rayon Salim. Kyle Sampson. Lily Sampson. Gustavo Sanchez. Isai Santiago. David Saperstein. Mariella Sarmiento. Ahad Sitar. Shamir Saud. Haley Sawyer. Isaiah Saxon Douglas. Daniela Schlachter. Ryan Schreier. Ryan Schultz. Gavin Seaver. Riley Seaver. Fauzi Sidu. Danielle Serensis. Sydney Seiler. Dia Shah. Hrade Shah. Krupa Shah. Richa Shah. Colin Shami. Anuga Shankar. Sharon Chow. Mo Monav Sharma. S Sanjana Sharma. Emmanuel Shalov. Paul Shahidi. Ravi Sheth. 
Jaya Shin. Arthur Schlensky. Prena Shula. Leslie Silva Penaloza. Ella Simmons. Irene Simos. Simran Singh. Sohan Siramarapu. Sai Shruti Sitharaman. Ivana Nunez. Amelia Slezak. Riley Smalley. Daniel Solomon. George Solomon. Myrna Solomon. Tanishka Sumani. So young son. Analki Soriano Roa. Adrian Soris. Aditya Srinivasan. Shakar Srinivasan. Nithin. Srinam, Emery Stankovitz, Supna Stanley, Christopher Stephan, Natalie Stein. Thank you, I deserve this. No, no. Ethan Storm. Caleb Sullivan. Andre Sumilong. Abigail Marie Sunti. Navriti Suresh. Marley Tadros. Megan Tadros. Rebecca Taestra. Andrew Takastov. Yan Bing Tan. Alexis Tanusi. Charmaine Tang. Minahil Tanvir. Raj Taparia. Mark Tofik. Jonah Pakor. Julia Thiel. Jessica Theodore. Alina Thomas. Caleb Thurm. Dahlia Tobar Silva. Nicole Tomasic. Natasha Trachtenberg. Nicholas Sukalis. Ahmad Omer. Braden Utter. Zachary Valentin. Michael Vallejos. Jenna Vasquez. Isabella Vasquez. 
Samir Vempali. Derek No Vianda Gonzalez. Chloe Vio. Ali Virk. Deja Wallace. Noor Wally. Caitlin Walsh. Andrew Wana. Sari Wiener. Kaylee Witham. Carl William. Keely Witham. Alexander Womack. Danny Wong. Katie Wong. Matthew Wong. Nicholas Wong. Janice Wu. Roger Shao. Maggie Yossa. Shreya Yeldandi. Mahadi Yuramili. George Youssef. Kareem Youssef. Benjamin Yu. Eric Yu. James Mateus Yurik. Fadi Youssef. Connor Zaimov. Catherine Sharif Zachary. Lamisa Zaman. Emma Zawaki. Joseph Zemidis. David Zhao. Victor Zhang. Taiwen Zhou. Jasmine Zuale Martinez. Dana Zucker. Ladies and gentlemen, the East Brunswick High School class of 2023.